Five o'clock means five o'clock, not five o two. Oh, we were hanging out on the property. We were just in Walmart. Oh. Sorry you didn't feel our presence. Oh, you <laughs> hey, hey, it's because I'm here. <laughs> I'm so ready for this. You want some right, squatching, man. but first, the king. Hey, yo. What's up, buddy? My brother. Hi, everyone. Y'all know this guy from the Sasquatch yeah. video. We're ripping that CCPI gear. We're, we're filming for Squatch Loser. Iowa tonight. Loser. We had a really awesome experience uh, back in November. So we're gonna go tonight to the same place and uh, see if we can debunk it. But like I said first, the home of the Whopper. So apparently this is a premium salad at uh, Burger King. So I got my, my receipt here and the uh, total is, is $10.98. As for a premium side salad, side salad, side salad, $1.69 garden salad for $3.89. Now, when I checked that, I was like, boy, that that uh, that price is, is pretty high. But I, I just paid. And, and uh, I tell you, when you get used to paying to have this guy around, you uh, you just slide the debit card and say, yep. let's go. Because that's a, that's a good time right there. But anyways, time to feast, gentlemen. $4 an hour. So how much you got? $4 an hour. A little windy, but it's a beautiful night to do some squashing. Excuse me, sir. License and registration, please. Um, shouldn't it be the other way around? Look, it's me in the uh, sunglasses. I've been crowned by the Burger King. You don't have any weapons in your vehicle, do you? There's a knife. Right. In a pocket. Don't reach for anything. We made it to Jester Park. This is where, excuse me, one of a number of locations around the Sailorville Lake area here, near the Des Moines, Iowa region. That is home to the legend of Bigfoot, Sasquatch, Yeti, one might say. So we, uh, back behind here, back in these woods here, like I was saying back in November, uh, that man there walking in the silhouette of the sun. Silhouette, bright, I, Anyways, we saw red eyes, and um, it was a very interesting experience. We caught it on camera. So really what we're out here doing is we are trying to make sure that it isn't like falsified evidence in the sense of, we're out here to debunk that it could be fake and prove that it's paranormal, I guess, unexplainable, which would lead to a better chance of suggesting that it's a Bigfoot. So we are uh, just doing some B-roll shots and looking for some prints right now because the, the ground is super muddy because Iowa has finally melted the snow away. Um, I'm sure there's plenty of wind noise for you guys too, but bear with us in the process. There's Seth. Hey, hey. there's Crandall. 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 So yeah. We're just being men out in the woods right now. So this is where we're gonna go camping tonight. We just put together our this uh, lean-to and um, put some foliage on here to keep us warmer. Alan is scouting out a creek that we can uh, get some freshwater fish to eat tonight. Because he's our fisherman. You can't see down here because well, there's some blocks of some kind down there. What could it be? What could it be? They have um, over yonder somewhere. This is so weird. <laughs> they have um, a uh, bird uh, hide where you can sit in and watch the birds. Yeah. Oh, so cool. I'd be curious if maybe they're doing something like that over here. There's a trail that goes down over to it. Yeah. Nature. Get a hold of us. Got my boy. 
boys got my girl, got my gun by my side. I'ma come pick you up, so baby, that's why I'ma take you places that you ain't ever seen. I know it's been hard, and that's why I see. Give me some ice, some dro, let's go, let's make it real. JMS know the road that he needs to put. I need to be your number one and throw away all my guns. Be the life I once knew just for you, that's right. But if you're gonna be whack, I can't do what I need to do. Please, you is what I'm all about, just for you. So what I'm going to be doing is there's a little parking area up here um, that you can actually see the location where Seth saw what we believe to be Sasquatch eyes, Bigfoot eyes. I'm going to back in to each individual parking space up here just so that we can get the brake lights in a certain way to see if by chance the red lights or the excuse me the red eyes that Seth saw could potentially be brake lights. So we're going to back into this first spot here. Make sure to uh, shut off the headlights as well. Alright, I'm just going to scan with the, uh, um, the camera right now. And this is probably the closest we can get to the leaning eyes, but I think they're still too crooked and they're huge. And they weren't that big or bright, that bright. And it's because of the top brake light and then the corner brake light but it was not that big and it was not that bright and again I'm looking to my left and it wasn't it, I'm looking too far so just for clarification you're saying that the the red that you saw was at too much of a crooked angle to be at the same angle that the headlights are currently at right now yeah, I don't, they, I don't remember them being, it wasn't that crooked. All right, stop there. Stopped. Okay, now could you see anybody actually being, parking there, crossing, like, so the brake lights are facing us? Um, no, you'd have to block the entire road and drive off of the road. Okay, um, one more test and then I'm good. You okay? You make it out yeah. all right? I, uh, I just woke up from my nap. <laughs> Aw. You look great. well rested. Yeah, yeah, I should be able to stay up all night now. Hey, perfect. Magnificent. Get my game on tonight. Which one? You know, I don't know. Might start off with Red Dead and maybe go to Grand Theft Auto and end it uh, with a nightcap on uh, Wildlands. I don't know. Oh boy, a whole plethora, know. one might say. Go stab some uh, commies in the neck out of Red Dead. always good seeing you guys. Love you, brother. Always good seeing you. Oh, yes. Hey, Alan, and remember, <laughs> it's all knee and no foot. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> my number one fan. That's me. Besides my wife. Customer. No, I'll fight her for it. You heard it here first, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Hi, Brad. Uh, let me know. Hey, 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 she's a really cool, talented person. <laughs> but I can still send it to Alan and give him a clip to just love on. <laughs> 